Congratulations uh, to every single human being on this planet that went hard in the paint, in the paint, put all of their money down on the Oakland Golden Grizzlies. <laughs> you just made the best decision you've ever made in your life. Because, yes, maybe you lost thousands of dollars. Certainly. But hmm? certainly, certainly thousands of dollars. <laughs> the, but not, you may have lost, but you showed your loyalty to us. Mm hmm. And that's more important than you having your money. Now, the only thing more important than loyalty to us and you not having your money yes. is us having your money. How do we alleviate this? Let's remedy the you needing to get rid of your money. Uh, how about this? I would like to make an emergency correction okay. already. <laughs> We're in the first minute. I said alleviate, which technically is accurate, but I meant ameliorate. <laughs> You nerd! <laughs> you fucking nerd! I'm sorry, and Ke Kelly. <laughs> oh no, we've got the 8 p.m. giggles. I know, <laughs> Kelly. I'm also shocked that we didn't do the WrestleMania song. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm so mad. I know you're mad. I I saw it. I saw it. I felt it, I and I'm like, you're you're right. You're you're not the bad guy. You're Drew's the bad guy. I don't even want to do it anymore. That's you know what? I don't even feel it. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We record. No, we're gonna say the PayPal's and then we're gonna say the WrestleMania <laughs> song. PayPal.me slash not Scott Henson and PayPal.me slash Sarian Sopaz. Kelly, do you have a PayPal you want people to send money to? I don't care. I'm so okay. mad right now. Do you want to sing the WrestleMania song? Do we? What's ba -da 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 It's just, just the most peaked audio. I do not. Ooh, California. <laughs> I do not look forward to dealing with that Ooh, wave. <laughs> oh, no, that we're doing wave Gabriel, form right? later. Um, boy, oh boy, hey, Kelly, Kelly's here, guys. Happy, uh, happy uh, two year. And you're pissed as promised. <laughs> happy two year anniversary to the greatest moment in the history of Jimmy Kimmel's live. Like, Jimmy Kimmel's live. One, one oh, word. Well, you know what? Let's. I, well, I, I put Jimmy Kimmel live and Jimmy Kimmel's life as one. We should thing. just reread this whole thing. Fuck it. Let, dump it. <laughs> dump the whole thing. Let, let's get a clean take on that, Drew. And three, two, action. Happy to your anniversary to the greatest moment in uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel's, Kimmel's life. life. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, <laughs> two years ago, what? on this day. On, on this day. day. Oh, boy. This is going to be a stupid episode. Was, uh, was the slap. Oh, oh yeah. This day. Um oh maybe yesterday. Sorry, maybe yesterday. Twenty mm. seventh. My bad. Oh I mean sorry, uh, the three three days four days ago. What's today? The twenty the first? Uh the first. Yeah. My April bad. Fools! <gasps> That's why we fucked up the intro. That was our, that April, was our April Fool Fools prank on Kelly. What? We got you. Sorry, I was looking at some dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They uh they hanging? <laughs> I don't know, it's dark. Oh. You can't <laughs> tell? One dog to another? You can't see if they're hung from a distance? I, I, ew. <laughs> also, like, what do I get to worry about? I mean, that I is... Say, <laughs> to that quote... Is I think it's just To good. quote Zach, Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> <laughs> to a tiny dog. <laughs> I gotta make a dick to that. that <laughs> That's the thing, though. Isn't it... As For you, as a, as a grown dog man... Canine sapien. Canine sapien. Mm -hmm. Uh, isn't it just nice to constantly reassure yourself that your dick is bigger? Oh, it's pretty great. Like you see, you see <laughs> it, and you're like, great. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like you know, you don't need to look. I wake up and I'm like, oh yeah, the Titanic sunk, but not this one. <laughs> oh, we almost got him. Almost had a spit take there. I'm fine. Uh, I guess as we, I'm not going to do a spit take about dog dick. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much dog dick talk on this podcast. Yeah, let's, uh, uh, as, as we may have alluded to with the song. We got some we got some wrestling today. Yep. Which I know everybody loves. It's it's weird. Because everybody pretends like they don't love it, but they really love it. Well no, like the the wrestling fans love it. The OG wrestling fans love it. Some uh some people just like everything we do. Yeah, cause, and because they're fucking simps. Are we allowed to say that? Did I just get this canceled? No, we're fine. Oh good. And some people don't listen to it. <laughs> yeah. Which is too bad. Here's the thing. There's a lot of good, good quality jokes yeah. in and around the wrestling. Yeah. Wrestling so adjacent. So just listen to it, but then like hit 30 seconds forward until there's no wrestling talk. Yeah. Then you solve the problem. Bitch. <laughs> exactly. Um, I don't know. What do we, you got any housekeeping we got to do before you, we get to this? Housekeeping? Housekeeping. 
Um, I got to show. I got one thing. You but got one I, but, thing. But you got to do your housekeeping that we'd normally do. Yeah, I'm. Got, I got some housekeeping and some manscaping. But no, no, we're not doing that anymore. No they, housekeping about manscaped they, they, because they they're ignored us. They're pieces of shit. I that guy got dead fired. to me. I hope. Uh, I was. I was just gonna say his full name and then say something bad about him. But then and what if they, perhaps does? a perhaps a call to violence against him. <laughs> but then what if in six months he called, tap, Mac, emails you and like, oh yeah, sorry, I was in the Congo uh, <laughs> exactly. searching for new scents and he new was, shaves. Well, I, like, he, <laughs> he, said, like, he was in the Amazon researching spiders with my mother right before <laughs> she died. <laughs> so I don't. Oh, Madam Webb, you're yeah. bad. So I don't want to say I, I am not gonna make a call to violence against Sam Howard of Manscaped. <laughs> I, 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 I said I'm not. So Box bitch. No, so that it's fine. So Sa- it, Sam, bitch. we're still open. You got if you've got money and want to send it to me six months later <laughs> after uh, the agreed I mean, upon time, then great. It we're was still in. nice to get that one giant chunk. It was cool, but also like uh, there was a definitely several months where we thought we were, we're not never getting. Anything. money from Manscaped. And we, and to be we, fair, we did a terrible job say, with Reeves. And, yeah, and we didn't feel so bad about like, yeah. accidentally mentioning Hitler every, every single, single Manscaped time. Well, listen, when you're thinking of of manscaping beards... Who did it better? Who's the number one <laughs> beard and mustache you can think of? Right. Now, you go Adolf Hitler. Uh-huh. I usually go Michael, Tom Selleck. Oh, my, I was like Michael Jordan for that six-month period. Michael Jordan for that six-month period when he was... When he, uh, that's the thing about it. Everybody thinks it's a joke. But, like, legitimately, Jordan thought... Like, I can take it back. Yeah, if there's one person that this can become a fashion statement for, yeah. it's me. And then he did it, and then when realized that nobody else was doing it, was like, yeah, all right, fine, I'll lose. Yeah, which which is, it was a good social experiment, like, because we wanted to answer the question, is Michael Jordan bigger than Hitler? The answer is no. No, nobody's bigger than Hitler. <laughs> I'm Man- glad I stopped myself before I said the rest of that. Manscaped.com promo code CATS20. <laughs> it still works. Does it really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So go nuts. Who cares? We should we should email. We don't get anything. We should email somebody that's not him. Yeah. And say, we don't know who we were talking to, but we haven't been getting paid for the last. Oh, I love that. That's a good idea. Oh, shit. I just said that line. Oh, you just blew it. Uh, fucking scrub it. Scrub that part. I'll dump it. I'm good luck. Like, also, all... Manscaped's not listening to our podcast yeah. and thinking like, oh, maybe we should give these guys a second chance. Yeah. Wait a minute. <clears throat> no, Man- Manscaped wasn't listening to the podcast when <laughs> we were doing reads, clearly. So they're not listening now. Oh, I just love how, it's terribly, how terribly written those, those reads were. Like, you spent the first... T- a month Des- yeah. just destroying the guy's like terrible grammar <laughs> spelling like oh it was perfect don't send bad copy to a proofreader sorry guys don't send bad copy play to is- a guy who's got full blown level 6 autism play is gonna play I like the the autism scale is the same as the Kinsey scale no yeah <laughs> they, they're hand in hand you're, if you're a 6 on the autism scale then you're probably like a 1 on the gay scale because because <laughs> You're so uh, focused on like how clean things and organized and neat things need to be. You have no time to fuck that you men. Can, you can never trust an asshole. <laughs> Who can? Right? Everybody's got them. Sure. If you're a six on the autism scale, then you are like, oh, I don't know. What's what's the what's the asexual level? A zero? I guess a zero. Or like a <clears throat> negative number? Or is a zero super straight? Oh. I want to go back to that Congo thing. <laughs> Herker go, Hermoka? Go off. I, I, I thought you were you're going to say that he was in the Congo shooting super girls with a laser. <laughs> <laughs> Slicing off their arms. Yeah. yeah. That's the only part of that thing I remember. God, that movie's awesome. <laughs> Except for, it's not, but it's awesome. It's yeah, cool. I just remember dead Bruce Campbell and Herker Hermoka. Yeah. It is, uh, oh, and, and sign language uh, monkey. Yeah. Or ape. Is uh, Amy, great, sad. Great ape. Amy, sad. He touched me. <laughs> Oh, Ask the uh, question. Tim Curry. Um, his name is escaping me, of course. It Ernie, does. Ernie Hudson. No, no. Uh, bad guy from uh, Die Hard. Uh, you know, oh, Alan, Alan Rickman. Rickman. Alan Rickman. Is he in that movie? No. Okay. No. I don't know why I thought he was in that movie. Because it seems oh, like a movie he would it be does. in. It does. You're thinking of Harry Potter. <laughs> mm, no. <laughs> Have you seen all the Harry Potters yet? No. No. I've had Drew's Blu-ray set of the Harry Potter movies for a really long time because one day I got a wild hair up my ass that I want to watch all the Harry Potter movies. So I, I, I have. Uh, like, Don't you like magic? Like, <laughs> I do like so magic. Like young boys. And I like young boys. That's why I wanted to watch the movie. But life gets in the way. But one day. Life, uh, 
Finds a way. Uh, 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 finds a way. I have seen two Harry Potter, Harry uh, Potter movies. Is one so of fuck them... you, I've seen Sorry, three. three. Ah, boo. Well, one one better be with a werewolf. One, nope. six, nine. I have seen... <laughs> What was the Half Blood Prince? <laughs> Kelly, I could not Half tell you Blood for Prince $1, is the one before the final two parter. So six, five. Yes. Is there seven or eight? Let's go through them. Let's go through them from memory. I can do this. I Sorcerer's Stone. Sorcerer or Philosopher's Stone, Philosopher. depending on what country you're in. Um, Chamber of Secrets. Prisoner, Prisoner of Azkaban. Azkaban. That's the werewolf one. Yeah. Uh, and directed by Alfonso Cuarón. You should probably say that if you haven't seen that. That's one, one of the only ones I've seen. Yeah. Um, Goblet of Fire, Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half Blood Prince, Deathly Hallows. So, uh, so there's Half Blood Prince eight is moves. yeah. So Seven books, eight Half Blood Prince is six. I've seen. So I've seen. Is, is that is Half Blood uh, Prince the one with? Drago oh, Malkovich or whatever. So many questions okay. that you think I have the okay. answers to. Okay. So let's get that. <laughs> yeah. but no, he's the one John Malkovich. I yeah. saw the first three movies because I thought I was going to get pussy. And then I didn't get pussy. Well, I think once I watch all of these, I'm going to get pussy. You'll grow we pussy. saw the one because <laughs> I saw it with people who wanted to go see, but they, yeah. it, it was the, the big like kind of like attraction of that movie was the first like 20 minutes was in 3d or something Ooh, like that. yeah i don't remember so which i one saw that one i saw part two of the deathly hallows okay. and drive through so, so you've seen the finish yep <laughs> and the third harry potter movie i've seen is troll oh, oh. <laughs> okay interesting okay Be- because the family's name in it is harry potter oh oh is that okay. f- Forgot that. The dad is Harry Potter and the kid is Harry Potter Jr. I'll be goddamned. Huh. And they tried suing Harry Potter over that. So you've seen six, eight, and troll. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I've seen one, two, and three. I've seen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You seen them already? Not eight. But you've already seen them. I think so. Fuck, I didn't know that. I thought you hadn't seen them, and that's why no. you were boring. Like, Give them back! You're not getting them I back. want to watch the rest you, of them, although I don't really. will not get them back until I have watched them. So you may not get them back. All right. But one, if I, if that day ever comes, one, it's going to be a great day. Two, you're going to get your movies back. Three, I'm going to get pussy. Number four, give us money. Number four, give us money. PayPal.me pay- slash not Scott Henson. PayPal.me slash Sarah and Pay for my secrets. Or pay for your r- secrets. recommend more anime. Somebody give us. I know, I know that, you know what? This always works. Every time always. we say the phrase, somebody give us money for, it's the, and give them the perfect recommendation. It's the phrase that pays. Everybody always does it. It yes. always works. Somebody always comes through with it. Just like when we ask somebody to pay for the double feature with our special discounted price yep. to do Fracture and Instinct, or, or Fracture and Blades of Glory. Yes. Th- this time, I'm telling you that with all, if, if you're going to listen to one recommendation from us ever. What do we need to do find, to put you in this car today? Find the anime where they masturbate and throw their semen at each other as weapons. You're going to need to narrow it down. <laughs> to watch that because yeah. I've seen that clip so many times yeah. and I don't know what it's from yeah. and I want to watch where detectives fight bad guys by masturbating yeah. and throwing their so, semen at each other. Someone's got like cum powers. Yeah, they all have cum powers. Every, or they, oh yeah, it's like a cum. Kelly raised his hand. It's like a cum based anime. Everything's dick with Kelly. Yeah. It's dog dick this and dog, dog dick, dick that with you. It's not even that. It's down to my knees and I'm sitting down. <laughs> I can't I can't even sheath it anymore because it's too heavy. I need a new sheath. A new- hey everybody. <laughs> We're all getting new sheaths. I was thinking I want a new sheath by here. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, have, you, have you done your uh, have you done your gatekeeping or whatever you call it? We're calling it? Housekeeping? <laughs> your housekeeping. No, I'm doing gatekeeping and I don't want gaslighting. The Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss, the, the three Gs. The three Gs. But uh, no, I'll, my I'll do the same gatekeeping we usually do. Uh, get pup play out of the furry fandom. Uh, I agree. That <laughs> is no, not that is not accepted. Got no time for that shit. Um, housekeeping. Uh, if you're on YouTube right now or can find your way to a YouTube, uh, maybe you're already there listening to this. Uh, YouTube.com you slash know. at not Scott Henson. You know. At least fucking subscribe. It's free. Yeah, you and cowards. Preferably click the join button, become a member for the 5, 10, or the correct $50 level. Just like Trump's Lil Smile did last week. <laughs> Appreciate it. Did we get a new hog? 
That was the new hog. That was the I new don't hog. think we have a new yeah, hog that since was then. The hog. Yeah, yeah, right. And four four more members, and we get one new uh, emote, I believe. Woo! Do okay. it. That'll get us to 40. Do it. Um, I think that's most... Oh, and uh, last week related housekeeping uh, for uh, from Smart Madness. Uh, two teams uh, that we had listed as just having a live animal mascot and were disqualified do also have uh, proper mascot mascots. <clears throat> Whoa. I just choked on my own spit. That's always nice. Yeah, spit. <laughs> I just choked on Kelly's own spit. Um, Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like how disgusting Ew. it was by that. Uh, so we missed uh, Colorado University. Oh, I did know about that mascot. With he was in last year. He was. I remember saying it. With Chip the Buffalo. Ah, uh, boo. He's not bad. He's not bad. I remember. I think he went to like the 16 maybe last he's got, year. He's got like a big kind of cartoony head. Yeah. Uh, S- stupid, <clears throat> stupid face. Uh, silly he's face. Got a dumb <clears throat> fucking face. Uh, he's got like just human hands with gloves and running shoes, which hurts. He's got a tail. Good. Um, but yeah, just like the the pant like legs just going down to a running shoe. Don't love it. Doesn't he? Doesn't have uh, I fuck hard energy like the Utah Bull. Absolutely not. Or, uh, yeah, Bull. Yeah, so he's okay, but he wouldn't have gone deep. He would have yep. eventually lost to someone better. And, and then, then we I also remember, have... Now that you've said it, and I got a real glimpse out of the corner of my eye, yeah. I do remember seeing that last year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my bad. I mean, also, they do have real animal they mascots. They do. So yeah. also, it's all good. Uh, fuck both of you. <laughs> you and the horse you rode in on. That's fair. Those would be the two things to fuck. Adam. <laughs> that would be... If I rode in a horse, it would be Adam. <laughs> The uh, and then we have the Texas uh, Longhorn Hook'em, uh, lame ass name. <laughs> lame ass. Uh, again, not a bad head actually. Kind of big though. Isn't kind it? of kind of oversized, but again, uh, the same kind of hands and feet. Yeah, F- football player legs. Uh, yeah, like f- football pants. football pants, and then like the furry leg coming out of it, but then just oh. running shoes. Also, he's wearing a hat, so he's out. Is where uh, no hats. Uh, hats are every as we all know hats automatic DQ yeah um, and no tail so again probably might have got a couple rounds depending on the opponents wouldn't have ma- I can't imagine making beyond six round of sixteen um, yeah that's the that's last week's housekeeping uh, what's this week's housekeeping did, did we say where to find ourselves on social media absolutely not uh, Sarah Softballs on twi- t- Twitter or X. Instagram, Letterboxd, which is the most important one, uh, Mastodon, and also, I create, what did I create? Truth Social. I had to create, oh, Par- parlor. I had to get a Discord for something, mm. so now I have a Discord. I think we might have someone making a Discord for us. Oh, well, I got a Syrian Soft Paws Discord now. Adam is a I, friend. I had to look it up, to. I had to get it to look something up. Um, because it wouldn't let me do it without logging in, yeah. so I did that. Um, was it porn? It's, it was not necessarily <laughs> porn. It could be interpreted as not porn. <laughs> it was. I mean, I'm not PG comes. <gasps> you are PG comes. That's so. It I would have to be porn in order for me to be aroused by it. I don't know. Uh, Kelly, about. I don't know if you heard this story, but a couple episodes on the podcast, uh, Scott mentioned that there has been several times that he has masturbated himself to completion using his right hand. <laughs> Actually, to... usually left. You're a lefty jerker. <laughs> right hand mouth. Hold up. Right hand mouth. This is a whole different conversation. R- right hand mouth. Well, you do... okay. Well, first of all, you don't need to constantly be clicking on things. You Ma- set up the things. No, no, like. no, Drew. Don't be. Like... I have to. I have to scroll. Some people have their. I have to click. <laughs> They have the I'm, process. I'm cum shaming. I'm active. I'm cum shaming Scott. I'm active right now. But, but yes, yeah, so can, so, please, please continue cum shaming. I think if I tried to do lefty, I would pull my dick off by accident. <laughs> and throw it in the river? Shockingly, my left hand is stronger than my right hand. No. Um, so, yes, uh, several episodes ago, Scott mentioned that he... Um, uh, masturbates himself to completion with his left hand. Sure. Uh, to... Images that aren't necessarily considered pornographic. Images or the written word. Or the written word of things that are not pornographic. Yes. That are just, like, visually appealing, 
but ne not necessarily any nudity or sexual activity happening. Well, like a sunset or a... Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, some... like a nice sunset or like some kids playing on a beach, you know. <laughs> but uh, it wasn't a that. member of the Thick Hog community uh, referred to him by the name of PG Cums because he said he would. The... he's masturbated to things that would be considered PG. What I thought was a regular offhanded comment has now been uh, bastardized into... I only jerk yeah. off yeah. to G-rated Where, material. Whereas I need things that are so hardcore, they're actually <laughs> it's, four X's, It's borderline not illegal. Not three X's. <laughs> uh, anyways, PG comes. Yep. That's your name. That's, Don't wear it out. That's my name. Please wear it out. <laughs> uh, so I have a, uh, I have a Twitter... Oh, you didn't say your handles. Uh, at not Scott Hansen. At not, at not Scott Hansen. Uh, also, Scoot's got a uh, cameo. And cameo.com slash Scoot. Um... I found us a very nice uh, Twitter living their best life, as You're, opposed to our creep of the week. Yeah, if we, I've as seen these, yeah. Twitter creep of the week has come up. Yeah, yeah. 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 There, there's the 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 uh, dare I say G or PG rated counterpart. Yeah. Uh, Twitter living their best. This life one's of the not PG. <laughs> Fair, but they're living uh, yeah. their best life. Yeah, it's they're they're not a creep. They're they're maybe not the most mainstream type of person mm -hmm. but god damn it they're living their best okay, life let me ask you this question kelly what is one thing that you personally find very i'm not gonna i'm not necessarily saying sexually appealing but one thing that you really like looking at what's one thing you like looking at like in, in, in general just anything kids playing on the beach that's you no uh <laughs> I mean, you, it could be something that you find sexually appealing, or you can, you know, like, uh, or just, I, I've been noted to like Latina women but in the past, but now I'm not allowed, mm -hmm. so I've moved on to Asian women. <laughs> Fair enough. What, uh, what are you? Okay, just in general, like something in yeah. general? Uh, not necessarily sexual. Just, just okay. anything that you specifically I, like to look at. I like to look at the Do rain dogs, outside. Dogs outside. I like that too, actually. That's nice too. Yeah. I like rain outside. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what about you, PG Gums? And don't say kids on the beach, because everyone's expecting that. People turning into animals. Uh, right, but not necessarily sexual. But often sexual. But not necessarily. But not necessarily. No, correct. Uh, this guy or girl <laughs> likes sexual horses, or cows. <laughs> nice. Oh, boy. Uh, so I, I... Who are we shouting out today? Uh, who, at, whose followers are we going to double? At Ventudewustu. <laughs> Ventudewustu. V-E-N-T-O. D W U S T U Vento Dwustu. Uh, I I'm a maybe a girl, but also might just be a creep. I mean, that's just one of the pictures. So. That's the profile picture. Yeah, but uh, yeah, who knows? Uh, if they have a DeviantArt page, let's check it out. Uh, no, we're gonna do this. First. I see. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> now. That's so upsetting. it's it's AI generated art. Yep. Of a of a bo Anth bovine woman, anthropomorphic bovine woman, being railed by oh, oh, oh God. Andrew God, I, look, at the, look uh, at the hands. Go back to the last one. The last one's nicer. Or how this one? Oh, oh Jesus! Look at those mommy milkers. Those <laughs> are some milkers. So they don't have udders. No, they usually do have They're huge, <laughs> comically oversized tits. Like Stop showing stuff. me that one. There, there's a be, a behind one from the middle <laughs> that we won't talk about, which involves a, a bit of a spread. Two large cow cheeks are pulled apart. Wow! Wait, oh boy, I don't. I like what whatever would have been the AI prompt to make that picture. Yeah, guy, <laughs> guy pile driving cow woman while second cow woman looks on annoyed. <laughs> Is this? Oh. That one's got udders. That one's got an udder, okay. That one's got udders. And like, it, it's got udders uh, and tits. I like that her dad's in the background and her dad's very her, upset. Her cow dad is watching the background <laughs> mad. Uh, nah, that one's I not. I like that uh, one. Here's this one. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> so th this one is one uh, almost like full bovine face. Yeah. Uh, with big old mommy milkers. Of course. And then a second girl. Yeah. Less bovined up. Yeah. Uh, getting milk milk from mommy's milkers. <laughs> <laughs> milk milk. Milk milk. Milk milk. There, oh, there's another similar one. There's another one. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Um, I wish you could just scroll picture to picture, but... 
Now, oh, this one's got an extra surprise for you down there. What's <laughs> under that dress? Gee, I wonder what those two round things hang I out. I think that's I think that's one big udder. Just under, one udder. Yeah, just one teat. <laughs> All right. Well, there's that too. There's a POV uh, getting jerked off by, by a favorite sex Cal- position. POV. <laughs> POV. <laughs> That's an insult. Oh boy, nah. Oh. That was not my face. Oh boy. Oh, I like that one a lot. That one's really funny. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> uh, anyways, this person is very much. So they they joined in November 2023. Yeah, they. Uh, I didn't look at their followers or following. I know I saw the numbers. I didn't look at. Yeah. So only following seven, which is interesting. Yeah. Uh, and just like anime morpher, uh, I'm creating fetish transformation weight gains. <laughs> nice. Uh, and then just like Elon Musk. <laughs> I I love it that Elon's in the mess. I probably followed two of those, and then followers is a lot. Oh, it's just one. Co- oh, that's a zoo. Um, <laughs> it's not. It's, it's not a ton of followers, though. No, nope. it's how it was. What was it? 300? Three hundred, three forty, or something. Like Let's double it. Uh, double it. I'm going to check next week, and you better have doubled it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't go through and that's see if there was guys. any creeps. That's again at Vento Duastu. V e n t o d w u s. Just living their best life. T u. Just living their best life. So this is their deviant art. Yes, it is. What's the gallery look like? I'm thinking. Oh, is it? Oh, you probably have to be logged in to see them because they're NSFW. Give me a second. <laughs> Let me log into DeviantArt. God, every day I gotta log in, log into DeviantArt, log out of DeviantArt. <laughs> well, I think once you're logged in, Scott, I think you just stay logged in. I log in with my login. Uh, I don't know what my fucking DeviantArt password is. Do I even have a DeviantArt? I definitely do. While Drew perhaps registers a DeviantArt account or tries to get in with something he might have. First try, no uh, dice. I guess I didn't have one, so I'm just oh, going to oh, register. Just going to real just quick. To... <laughs> Don't worry, it won't, I... ta- it won't take very long at all. Should I pause? No, no, no. I... I'm, I'm already here. What, what year was it born? 1968? <laughs> Should I just fuck it up? Should and... I show my pause? Uh... Kelly, check these out. <laughs> No, I don't. I just want to discover art. I don't need anything else. <laughs> ah! Mature mode. Just, mature mode. I'm just mature. Just do the thing. Just let me see the fucking cow porn. I don't want to pick them. Where's furry? <laughs> Done. Done. <laughs> Nude photography. It, I'm in. It, it made Drew pick three, like, categories that he's interested in, and it was... <laughs> it was fantasy... Nude photography and I think naked photography. Here's the deviant art. Okay, looking good. Hooves. Weird. I don't like the hooves. I don't mind that there are hooves. No, 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 no. That's kind of weird. The, okay, now we're back to feet, but le- but not a cow. Not a cow. Just the, a woman. This is the woman. This is the before. Oh, th- this is the before. Because it's definitely the same person as a cow so in the it, other picture. It's like a Mayan or Aztec woman. Yeah. Oh, hey, we're back to the good one. <laughs> we found the we found the good one. There's another one. Is the, is the uh, is the deviant art the same name, or do we need to shout out a different deviant art? Uh, same deviant art name, and they're a pro. Ooh, they're paying for it, or someone is paying a, paying for it for them. Oh, uh, that's it. Not there, there's not a lot going on here. All right, they've only got a handful of them. Excellent. <laughs> well, I see no better way to go from here than to preview WrestleMania 40. <laughs> What do you think? I'm just going to leave this up for everybody. You're going to leave the gape up? Yeah, the gaper. I think that's rude of you. Well, it's for everyone to uh, You're going to need appreciate. the computer. You need to write down star oh, predictions. Oh, okay. you didn't think you were doing work today? I thought I was done being stat boy. No. Well, I'm going to look at this <laughs> while, I, while I do WrestleMania. I got gotcha. you. Go. I almost got him. Going to go uh, ladies, half, ladies half screen gape. Ladies and gentlemen. We got him. We got him. <laughs> All right. So we All can, right. We can probably get... Kelly to go through the card from memory, right? You want to? You want to yeah, start? I think Kelly knows the whole. You want to start rattling stuff off? Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior. No, no, uh, don't be stupid, Drew. No, it's uh, opening is a tag match, which is, I believe, it's the Allied Powers, <laughs> Lex Luger and the, the, Davy Boy Smith yep. versus Janitru Tenru oh. and Yojiano. Uh, 
Yoji Anjo? Yoji Anjo. I like it. Yeah. And Is that a match that happened? No, it, but Yo- <laughs> it wasn't Yoji Anjo and Tenru on yeah, they, they uh, were. seven or eight? Uh, uh, I think it was Katao and Tenru. Katao and Tenru. Yeah, like Andrew did stuff in war with Tenru. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I like that. Okay, what else you got? <laughs> oh, he's giving me the Katao. I'm going to poke you. I'm going to poke your the, eyes. The three the stooges. <laughs> Uh, all I know is the is Roman Cody two, and I, I think McIntyre uh, Rollins. Yep, you got the two uh, title matches on day two. Look at you. <clears throat> all right. I forgot there was two goddamn days. There's two goddamn days. Jesus, we're only gonna watch it on one day though. Like two days makes sense from a like a money standpoint, of course. But I can't. But not from a having to watch that yeah. much wrestling standpoint. And do they still do like five, six, seven hour shows? No, no, they're they're a lot tighter, yeah, uh, than they used to be. Yeah, they're they're probably four. They're close to they're a little over four. I what think. was yeah. the really long? One? Uh, Eight it, hours. It was right before they went to yeah, two, two shows, like 2018, 19. That yeah, it was like easy seven, eight, nine hours. Jesus. Just unacceptable. I don't. Because, yeah, there was that one we watched at Drew's. Yes. Uh, oh, it's never ended. <laughs> yeah. And, like... Did it have, was it 2090? Was it, like, Triple H, Seth Rollins? Yes. Was that one of the things And we on missed it? it because of the... Yeah, because, uh, like, yeah, and it got screwed up, and we're like, let's go get food. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come back. Yeah. There'll still be seven hours of show. We're not missing anything. Yeah. And we didn't. Yeah. Uh, so, they've only announced ten... We're assuming there will be 14 by the yeah. time the show happens. We have a There's, you know, general idea of three of the remaining four, yeah. and the fourth we're just going to take wild yeah. guesses. The, yeah, if there is a 14th match, we really have, like, we looked at the roster of the WWE, and we're like, what are they even going to do? But maybe they're not. Maybe either Cody Roman or the tag on day one is going to go super long, and it'll be six matches one day, seven the other. But we there's t- right now we're recording this on Thursday, so there is still a SmackDown, a Raw, and a SmackDown to go before Mania. But this is the last Monday. This is the last Monday to air before Mania, so we can't do it any later. Uh. Um. So yeah. So ten are as of right now, as of Thursday the twenty eighth. Spoilers. Uh, peek behind the curtain. You're welcome. Uh. 10 matches are announced, three others are pretty much for sure, and that's that's what we know and then right guess now. Guess on the last one. Yeah. Uh so let's we're gonna go uh, work our way to the main event on day one, then we'll do the two main events yeah. on day two. Should we start with the unannounced and then do the uh, I mean, they, yeah, they're we, all kind of the lowest end. We can too. guess on the low, low, yeah. low ones up. So one match that we assume is probably taking place that they've been setting up. Uh so obviously they have the tag team. Uh, tournament to determine a six pack ladder match at the show. Yeah. Where they've been doing tournaments on SmackDown uh, and Raw. So the Raw side is done. The SmackDown one is down will to. will be done tomorrow. Down to the semifinals, which will be done tomorrow on SmackDown. Well, I'm pretty sure I know what's up. Uh, which are Legato del Fantasma, which is uh, Angel and Berto. Yeah. Which are Angel Garza and Umberto Carrillo Kelly. Which I know you know both of them very well. You know the Garza family. Oh, yeah. Uh, teaming, uh, taking on... And new, Umberto's his cousin. Taking on New Catch Republic, which is Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. He's no longer Butch. He's back to Pete Dunne. He got D-Butched. Right. Yeah. D-Butched. Uh, which Big we Dick. think New Catch Republic is winning because of what uh, they're the, the Phantasma the, guys will be doing. Yes. Um, then the other, ta- other one is uh, the Street Profits. Uh, against a town down under of uh, Austin Theory and Grayson Waller, uh, and we think that a town down under will be winning because I think Street Profits are doing the match, something else so too. The first, so the first match we think based on that is the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley. <laughs> ver- I wrote the match as Blacks versus Biggins. <laughs> um, so You're not Bobby, wrong. Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits versus Karrion Cross and the Authors of Pain. They're, oh, they got their back. They're back. Now, well, tell, you, oh, tell oh, Kelly okay, okay. the long storied history of the Authors of Pain. Okay. So, what one's from Surrey, British Columbia? Uh, I, I think just one of them went or to, went UB, to SFU. SFU. Went to SFU okay. for football. That's cool. Uh, uh, I don't know if he's anyway. actually from BC. So, they were. They were signed and did some stuff in NXT and then some stuff on the main roster. Yeah, they were up because remember they were with Seth for a while. Right. And when he was doing his Monday Messiah. He's from Abbotsford, actually. And the other one is from the Netherlands. Interesting. Hmm. 
Uh, Abbotsford, BC, for the listeners, by the way. We got a local boy in the mix. Um, so, yeah, and they did some He's stuff. and Indian. And everyone sort of lost interest because who cares about the Authors of Pain? Yeah. So they were released in probably like a big 2019 or 20 call. Future Endeavors. Uh, they yeah. were. Uh, 20... 2020. 2020. September okay. 2020. So, they came back on television or anywhere from from having uh, any matches in WWE um, yeah. a, a few weeks ago. Ra- Razor fought on a Bellator card. Nice. Hmm. But he lost. Yeah. They like yeah, they maybe showed up a month, uh, maybe, maybe towards two months ago. They probably had two matches on television. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. All, all of which, you know, in, in the last very recent while. They have been re-signed since summer 2022 <laughs> and have not wrestled a match, done a thing, not a house show, not anything. They've been sitting home getting paid. Ugh, that's the dream. It is the dream. It's crazy. It really is. You're getting paid to work out. Yeah. Year and it's a half. best. Year and a half of nothing. Same as uh, Harry Smith. A yeah, while ago, yeah. uh, uh, Eric Young. Eric Young. Eric Young gets canonically killed, murdered on TNA TV because he's never coming back because he's going to WWE to wrestle and then be an agent. Goes to WWE, has zero matches for eight months, goes back to TNA. <laughs> and it was all ruse. Yeah. Yeah. Very funny. Um, yeah. So yeah. that's a match we assume is going to happen. Yes. I will. I, I'll be the first to say, I think this match is going to be horrible. Who gives a shit? <laughs> this is going to suck. Here's, here's the only reason. Three guys on one team are terrible. Yeah. One whole team is bad. <laughs> so how are you going to have a good match? Yeah. I think the Blacks win. I think the Blacks win and end the fucking feud. My only question is, is this match even worth putting on WrestleMania or they do it maybe on, on like Smackdown? on Smackdown next week or something? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Or I don't know. or a pre, no, they don't really do pre-show. They don't anymore. do pre-show yeah. matches anymore. Uh, can I would like to guess Biggins or Blacks? Biggins or Blacks, where do you stand? Where are the teams? Trent? Uh, Bobby Lashley and the Street, Street Profits yeah. and Kill- Karrion Cross and the Authors of Pain. <laughs> With Paul Ellering and <laughs> Scarlet Bordeaux. Yes. Probably Authors of Pain and okay. Karrion Cross. I was going Biggins. I'm going um, blacks. I'm going to go... One and oh, one half stars. One and one half from Scott. Uh, eh. You can say five. You can say you can say whatever you want, Kelly. I'll say two. Two? Uh, Big Kerry and Cross fan. Yeah. I'm going to go one. Okay. I think uh, Scott highballed it, and Kelly definitely <laughs> And highballed. Kelly was being ridiculous. Uh, so again... Um, <laughs> the Street Profits are good. The Street Profits are good. Cool uh, the Street Profits are good, and Lashley's, they, Lashley's, Lashley's yeah, pretty good. But there was, the problem is the other three are terrible. Was it... Was it Two years ago, where we lowballed that multi tag man, and it was actually really good. Yeah, yeah with, yes. the, with the Street Profits. Yeah. In it. Yeah. it was it was like very we're, short. We're, yes. we're but it was awesome. The yeah. greatest thing that's ever happened was that what when was he that? chaos theoried. Uh, was that the Strowman? same match? Was it not? Yeah, that was. It was. Wow, what a fucking match! When he fucking chaos theoried the biggest guy in the match with ease. Yeah. And he did it to Gunther too. Watch him do it to Gunther. Yeah, the, uh, and did the Street Profits maybe do like a giant like a huge doomsday, doomsday blockbuster? Thing, yeah. Yes. And Montez got like he, he jumped off screen. He jumped yeah. like thirty feet in the air. Yeah, yeah. He did like a W. This, here's a reference. He did a Super Nintendo WWF Raw like super Springboard, finisher. Yeah. <laughs> they had to put in a bam, code for. Bam, yeah, yeah the, the, the one two three kit. The one two three kit. All one. four things. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, what, uh, so ba- again, so also now, so, based off of the tag team elimination, blah blah. blah yeah, uh, we think there's going to be an eight man tag of Latinos. Now, how are you going to write this down? Because this is La- Mexicans versus write, Mexicans. Well, I just wrote Latinos, but I was going to do Puerto Ricans and Americans versus Mexicans. Right. But I guess Dom's American, so it doesn't really work. Yeah. Which side is more Latino? Uh, well, you got a Mexican, a Mexican, and a Mexican, and an American. The other side, you've got good. a Puerto Rican, an American. Let's yep. face it, Rey Mysterio is fucking American. Uh, a Mexican and a Filipino American. Yeah. So I'm going to say 
Uh, the bad guys are the, the heels are Latinos. more Latino. Yeah. And I think they're going to win. So it's so. going it, to, in theory, it will be... The LWO. Uh, Santos Escobar. This is not the LWO, sorry. Santos Escobar, Berto, uh, Angel, and Dom Mysterio. Yeah. Uh, against Rey Mysterio, Carlito. Yes, Carlito's employed, Kelly. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Rey Mysterio, Rey Mysterio yeah. Carlito, uh, Cruz del Toro, and Joaquin... Phoenix. Wild, <laughs> who, who is DJ Zima? And oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And Cruz, who's, who's, who's Mexican in what? this? Yeah, or he's he's not, a Latino in this, not and not Filipino. Filipino. Look, what are Filipinos if not the Mexicans well, of Southeast they're Asia? They're Spaniards. They they were jungle people who were <laughs> raped by Spaniards, <laughs> and that's where we are. Yeah. Anyways, um. I don't know that it fucking matters. I don't think it does. I think Ray beat Dom last time, yeah. so Dom beats Ray this time. Um, and they're more Latino, so the heels win. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with faces because you gotta have some fun, and faces. You know what? I also like fun. fun. So I'm gonna go Ray's team. Okay, yeah. heels or faces? Santos Escobar is, is, is uh, El Fant- uh, the, the Hijo del Hijo Fantasma. Fantasma. Yeah, from so, Luch- or Lucha Underground? No, King Corno. King Corn, pardon oh, me. I like King Corno. Yeah. Um, and this is like the actual show. This isn't like we don't know. No, fuck this no. is the one we're this speculating. Maybe about. it happens. Maybe this doesn't. It, maybe we have, we have to think that we're, in theory, there's going to be at least three more matches, if not four. And based on the storylines they've done, stuff they're doing, this seems like this seems like a thing, thing they would do. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, watch. They'll just do Ray Dom again. That'd be yeah. funny. That'd be funny. Who won the last between Ray? So and Dom? Ray, Ray, Ray won beat last. Dom. Is he gonna go over on another mania? Mm. Ah, you know what? I'm changing my pick. I can't do it because I think Ray will give him the win back. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I think Ray will give him the win back. All go in heels. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to be optimistic because I think everybody in this match is good. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I mean, like the, the worst guy is Carlito, and even Carlito's and even not, bad. not that bad. Carlito's yeah. still pretty decent. So I'm going to go three. I think I'm going to go three on this one. Three is not bad. I will go. I think you will, will steal my three. I think it will get no time, and as a result, Probably. be two and three quarters. <laughs> Uh, I will say the same. Perfect. Kelly's in acting is one steal. Uh, so the other one, based on things that happened on SmackDown last week, uh, we kind of think it'll be women's tag team title match of, uh, Kyrie Sane and Asuka defending against Naomi and, uh, Bianca Belair. You're going to ask you a question. Yeah. When you're writing down the shorthand for this matchup, I just wrote women's tag. Oh, I didn't. That's... I didn't write racist things. I'm... I mean, when I when I messaged you, I said I believe you referred to the, the I said the, Jap, ch- the Japs ch- versus flashy blacks. Fla- <laughs> that is that is what you said. Yeah, I was just. I'm not going to say that so. if that was coming. So back. yeah, so Oscar. So you're, you, uh, you, uh, to be clear, you're not going to say. I'm that. I'm not going to say that. Okay, good. So I, I I don't think you should unless they add a third or fourth. Like unless they make it a four. Pack. I guess they could dump they, a bunch they, of other women. They in did it. make it kind of obvious that it would because like. Damage control is four is five people, four people, four, four people, and they beat up two people. So I really think it's going to be two, two, two teams. That's it. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, if you just want to get more people on the card, you can throw in Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. Although Shayna Baszler might be is busy doing blood, blood sport. sport. Which is pretty yeah. cool. Or you just do uh, Natalia and Tamina, the the team that always is just. Oh, of course. Or. Liv Morgan and whatever the fuck she's doing. Sonya Deville, if she's still a pro wrestler. I don't know. Um, what about Ash uh, by Elegance? Are going to bring her back? Mickey no. James, she could do something. You know what? Let's get Mickey Lita James and Trish Stratus, they sure. could be a team. 100%. Uh, I think Os- Nia Jax by herself because she's fat. That's true. I think Oscar and Got Kyrie. Her. I think Oscar and Kyrie retain. Yes. Um, and I think it'll be good because everybody in the match is really good. Like yeah. Naomi's the worst one and she's and not she's bad. Right. Um, yeah. Hmm? She's the best Funkadactyl. Well, that's a that is a bold. Statement. She's in my top two Funkadactyls. But uh, poor Cameron getting done getting number two. Kelly, how do you rank the Funkadactyls? Think hard. <laughs> I don't remember. Them. How do you rank tons of funk? Yeah. Oh, that was that was. Uh, that was him, him and Tensai. And Tensai. Yeah. Nice. I like not changing his name back from Tensai. Yeah. He was no longer Lord Tensai. Yeah. He was just Tensai. Did he sort of get, did he sort of morph into Sweet Tea though? Or did I, 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 yeah, did he make I, that up? I, I, uh, yeah, I guess he did. Okay. I guess he was Sweet Tea at some point. Yeah. Uh, Head I, trainer. Japanese women or African American women? 
I mean, one's Oscar and Kairi Sane, and the other one is Bianca Belair. Who and are the heels? The uh, Jap- Japanese. Uh, it's probably going to be the Bianca Belair. Yeah. And, uh, Naomi. I am going to vote for, and shocking that he didn't, I Kelly's be- girlfriend, Asuka. <laughs> I believe I'll vote for a third party candidate. I'm voting Natalia and Tamina. Ooh, no. <laughs> uh, I think it'll, it'll be better than the Latino uh, World Order match. It could be pretty good. I'm going to go three and three quarters. I think it's got real good potential. Three and one quarter. <gasps> I'm saving myself for marriage. Sure. And for after I see Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, everyone in that match is really good. So. Yep. Yeah. Three and a half. Split the difference. Watch Kelly be right. Son of a bitch. Uh, so that's all the match. That That's the match. Those are all think. the pretend matches. If, if, now some if, real ones. If there's another match, we had speculated that it might be like a Jade Cargill something. But uh, I... But, apparently, yeah, but, apparently Jade is debut, uh, debuting oh on, 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 on tomorrow. Smackdown tomorrow. Well, Kelly, she's only, she only did the Royal Rumble and that was it. Uh, yeah. And then they, took, they immediately took her off TV. Because yeah. like, they, they were so concerned about how little she actually <laughs> knew how to wrestle based on their standards yeah. that they were like, okay, she can be she can be in a match where there's like a 20 other women around yeah. her and she can just do power stuff and get eliminated but she's not wrestling but it's so her. funny they didn't know that from the start I don't know maybe they, maybe they just looking at TV like if they actually had seen her wrestle yeah um, that they were like oh on you know she looks serviceable on TV then they get her to the PC and they're Uh-oh. like oh she can't uh, run the ropes she can't do anything she can't do back rolls because like so. right when they got her she was all over TV yeah. she yeah. was on she was on Raw Smackdown yeah. NXT she's the number one one free agent in the market, every week blah, blah, for blah, like blah, blah. three weeks yeah. and then she dis a fucking peered yeah. and the thing is with her is they are going to protect her like with every secret service member they have <laughs> because she's she's like one of the hottest women in the world but she's also like super athletic she's got like a great look to her she's yeah. different than what they have yeah she's big yeah um so i think they're gonna protect her like crazy because we had said in the car oh maybe they'll do her versus naya and it's like there's no fucking, god i hope they do her there's no better way to ruin jade, jade cargill than her first a uh, singles match is at WrestleMania against the worst woman's wrestler you have in the company. I just hope that she's been so bad in the performance center. They've, <laughs> they've already given they've up. already given up on her. <laughs> Obviously, they've got God willing. They've also given up on Nia Jax. Throw them out there on a giant stage. <laughs> have them do one of the worst Brock, matches. Brock of, Goldberg. Have them do oh. two, for the first Brock. Two thousand four Brock Goldberg, not awesome. Twenty seventeen Brock Goldberg. Uh, and fire them both afterwards. That'd be amazing. That w- I would amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. Um, so yeah, that those are those are the three we speculate on. Maybe there's a Jade Cargill thing. Maybe there's like a random mid card thing because they have yeah, the, the only thing building I can, up Ricochet. Yeah, and is some um, like a, a like a raw mid carders four way with like Ricochet, JD McDonough, Nakamura, and Andrade or something is the best I can figure. Yeah, yeah I, I really don't know. Um, How about Cameron Grimes? Is he getting much play? I mean, he's on the roster. How about Odyssey Jones? Odyssey Jones. How about uh, Omos? What's Omos going to do? He was in the Rumble. What about Joe Gacy? Uh, I mean, could you use Joe Gacy? Whoever, but Just having him. a series of the worst gimmicks of all time in NXT. Because someone is clearly... Like, someone hired him just to be mean to him. Yeah. Which I... W- I'm fine with it. Which I would have guessed. I'm here for it. If Vince was still there, I'd say him. Because that's his move. But, uh, there, yeah, there's someone still in power who does not like Joe Gacy. Yeah. Uh, so there's there as it stands right now, there's only three matches that have been allocated days. Oh, and that's the rest the, are that, some. That's day. the tag first day and the two title matches second day. Oh, that's but all they've announced for days. Everything else is still uh, up in the air. Oh, I think gotcha. last year they didn't do it until like a couple so, yeah. days before. So I'm just gonna go down the card from the least important on to the main event of the first day. Then we'll do the two title matches. Yeah. And so uh, U.S. title three way. Of uh, current champion Logan Paul oh, yeah. mm-hmm. against uh, Kevin Owens and Randall Keith Orton. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, who's Randall? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Randall Keith Orton. You really threw me off the right of Randall. <laughs> uh, it's a weird match for Orton to be in. It was it definitely is. supposed to. It started as just Logan versus Orton. Yes, 
And then I think they remembered. Oh, Kevin's got to do something. That Kevin Owens has nothing to do and is one of their best wrestlers and should probably do something. Yeah. And here we are. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it'll be good. I think it'll be a little messy because Logan has only done spot fest, multi-mans and singles. Yeah. Yeah. So putting them in a three-way, three no, gra- granted, interesting. you could have a worse three-way of two opponents than Orton and Owens, who are both very competent in the ring the and, and, and can put shit together, yeah. but I feel like it might be overwhelming to be on WrestleMania in a three-way. Like, to have your first match with more than one or just, like, a spot festy thing. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he'll be fine, though. He just doesn't I'm sure he will be. I mean, he's the, he's the greatest wrestler of a generation. I mean, 100%. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that I know. Too. It's I mean, the worst. Because it's like, yeah. But he, he's, it's so upsetting. He's yeah, kind of the perfect representation of what Vince wanted the PC to be. True. Yeah. Honestly. No no wrestling experience and like just come in be a awesome. fucking incredible athlete. Yeah. Like it's wild. Um, I love that Logan Paul is better than every fucking college athlete they've signed. Yeah. That's a thing though is like. I think because because Paul was such a big wrestling yeah, it's fan. Yeah, because he likes wrestling and yeah. not he's just some guy who's like, yeah. maybe I can make there, money doing this. There's some random, very attractive uh, Asian woman who I follow on Instagram. Oh, I fucked uh, her. And I, I, I watched I, Harry Potter. I followed I her before her. any of this happened. I actually and followed then, her before that and I fucked her. And then one day I saw her uh, Instagram story that she ha- she was going to the PC for oh. tryouts. But then, like, you know, you go through her stories, whatever. Yeah. And she, like, she'd literally never seen wrestling before. Yeah, it's... And she yeah. and she was just a fitness model who I was like, she's super hot, so I'm gonna follow her. Sure. But, like, she'd never seen wrestling before, and now I think she's getting signed. Yeah, it's... And, but she's saying, like, oh, this great journey, and I, like, wanted to message her and say, like, <laughs> don't fucking do it. Yeah. Wrestling is a fucking disease. <laughs> do not do it. Stay with what you're doing. You're gonna be happier. You're gonna make so much more money. Yeah. yeah, like, you're gonna be more, uh, like, lo- love your life a lot more if you don't go and do, like, two years of wrestling training and then just get released yeah not even two years i mean yeah true there's people on nxt that are have less than a year experience yeah, yeah. but um yeah I think, like logan paul is literally the, the definition of what vince wanted the pc to be the whole time yeah it's just you're super athletic and we can make you do the thing we want to do like what's gonna happen in five or six years when all of those nxt people have been released and have to go out on the indies great question right because like, i mean most as we've said like most homegrown wwe guys who get released yeah. never wrestle again uh yeah. elias is having his first match he had a, he had a he, oh, apparently, apparently he had an okay match with mike bailey all right oh shocker <laughs> yeah uh but like you know you think like even guys like masse and uh Mansoir, they had wrestled before they got to WWE, just not very much. Yeah. But they at least had wrestling training. But like uh-huh. all these all these random and now I'm not saying it's just because they're women, but all of these random ass gymnast women that they yeah. hire, they get like a year or two years of training and then are gone, like they're never gonna wrestle again. No. no I mean, unless not. they're just based on their looks, but like they have no actual wrestling training. They know how to do the steps, yeah. and they know how to hit their three spots. Mm. Like, that's what the PC is. Absolutely. Uh, it's crazy. Anyways. Yeah. Logan Paul, Kevin Owens, Randy Orton. Um, I still think Logan Paul retains. Yeah, I, I think he's too important to, like, the promotional material and the, the, the grander scheme of WWE yeah. to have him take the title off him. I think what ends up happening is we get an Orton-Owens feud out of this. Yeah, Orton goes back. Orton goes heel. Orton's bad now. Yeah, you could do. Okay, and then they just do a, they, bad they do an Orton Owens feud out of this. Like that's kind of they where could, they could do. I think it is. They could do a Randy's bad now. Um, for some reason, I'm leaning Randy. I don't have a good reason, but I'm gonna I say mean, it because Randy wins sometimes. Randy does win sometimes. Yeah. Uh, and Owens never wins. Uh, Owens never wins. But maybe him and his best friend can both win on the same show, and then they can do a uh, Eddie Guerrero and Redacted. And then they can both die within three years? I mean, if that's the way it's got to go, that's the way it's got to go. <laughs> rules are rules. Uh, so you're going Randy. I'm yeah. going Logan. Uh, I probably would also go Logan. I just don't see him, even at, at Mania, dropping it. Like, yeah. yeah. The, the, this may be obvious, and you guys may be right, and I may be stupid. That's on the table. Well, we are going different answers, and usually that's what happens to you, because... Uh, that's true. Whatever. I, I feel maybe I'm alone in this, and I, I... Do you feel like you're alone in the world? Yes. Because you're not. You have people who love you. Eh, uh, <laughs> but, like, I... 
love Kevin Steen. Yep. yep. I've always loved him. Mm-hmm. I mean, even when he's like, and usually when guys go to the WWE, I just stop watching yeah. because they just get turned into this thing I hate. Yeah, Shinsuke, he's, Na- Shinsuke Nakamura. He's, yeah, Steen stayed pretty cool. Steen has stayed pretty cool, but there's still watching him wrestle in WWE kind of still is like because he has to do stunners all the time. Yeah, he, like it's just it's yeah. not. He, I feel he's doing just like. Cosplay? Cosplay, kind of. Yeah. And it's like you when he could just it, yeah. be him. But, like, who's fucking taking, you know, yeah. Trapper Keepers and all that <laughs> yeah, fucking exactly. shit, right? I mean, like, not that you have to do that thing to be good, but, like, or to be Kevin Steen, but, like, I don't know. It just, it, 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 I feel like every guy is a watered down version of himself. For sure. Yeah. For sure. And that's just the WWE product. Exactly. Guy, right? Yeah. And it just, it's kind of, yeah. it's just, you know, what? Sad. I was saying to Scott earlier that, do you know that AJ literally said he cannot do the spiral tap anymore? Not surprised. Because he he said I'm I'm like almost a hundred pounds more than that's, I was before. That's insane, but I believe and, it. And oh, yeah. and he's like, my body just doesn't do that. It, like it yeah. doesn't he's understand like, I can't, I can't how to do it. Physically anymore. do twists in the air like that. Yeah. So he's like, i I'll I will probably never do a spiral tap again. Yeah. But that's because that's they, they you know they're yeah. like You gotta get, get book up, buddy. Yeah. Like, you, with, like, you've scary. seen how gigantic AJ is. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, when we saw the it was a rumble, he was yes. fucking yeah. massive. Those lats. And we thought like no, it wasn't him. It was uh, Orton too. Orton was also jacked. Yeah. Yeah. Orton took a fucking clothesline. We mm. thought he tore his neck. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, uh, speaking of gigantic, Kelly, have you seen Kevin Owens' son? Oh, he's a uh, uh, he's a beast. Owen. Is that Owen. His? Owen Owens. Oh yeah, I have. Yeah, he's fucking huge. Yeah. He's how old is he? Like he's six seven. Yeah. Six foot seven. I think he's like 50, he's 14? Six seven, 350 pounds, eight years old. <laughs> Owen Owens. Ha ha ha. I said the same joke. Huh? Very funny. Hey, you're as funny as Twitter. Yay. <laughs> Way to go. Uh, yeah, I think he's like 14, and apparently he wants to start training wrestling already. He's got the size. He's got the fucking size, and he's got the dad. What uh, looks like a dork. It's a good thing Vince is gone because he hated his dad. Yep. <laughs> um, yep. Did we give star ratings in this? Uh, I'm, I'm going to give it a four. I think I'm going to aim, aim cautiously. I, I think they'll do lots of fun stuff. I, yes. I was thinking three and three quarters. Could be four. Well, you said four. Three and three, three and three I quarters, did say three and three so... quarters, and I stand by so guess three what's and three quarters. That's what you said. Fine. Uh, Fine. I will also say four. I was going to say five. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to put down five. Uh, so next up is uh, the third... Brother versus brother match to take place on a WrestleMania? I want to say yes. <laughs> Owen, Brett, Matt, Jeff, Jimmy, J. Yep. Jimmy versus J. What about uh, Battle- Taker Kane? <laughs> oh, oh my God, how did we forget Taker Kane? Shane, Stephanie, did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Bro- Shane, Shane versus Stephanie. <laughs> brother <laughs> versus brother. <laughs> I'm writing that down. Um, I like it. Jimmy versus J. Uh, I... I knew it was coming, but I also feel like I just didn't pay enough attention to know that it was important. So I'm just going to say Jay because he's main event Jay and Jimmy is kind of like a lackey in who's the, the, who's the DOI. Uh, both. both. Oh, but like both. Jimmy so has more. Uh, Jimmy has a little. More. I think Jimmy has. It's like two it's more. like Jimmy's seven to Jay's four. <laughs> yeah, something, something like that. <laughs> but they love it. They can't stop doing it. No. They're they're calling them the male Tammy and Sitch. J- Jay is married to Naomi. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And Jimmy's married to a non wrestling woman. And Jimmy's married to Shane McMahon. Nice brother. Uh, brother. <laughs> He's married to Stephanie's brother. <laughs> I'm gonna no, go is he married to Shane's brother, Stephanie? <laughs> I'm gonna go three. Uh, sorry, Jay. I mean. Uh, big, 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 big Jay gets the win because he's made of a Jay. I hope it's better than the last real brother versus brother because Matt and Jeff sucked. Yeah. And if it's better than the brother versus brother before that, it'll be one of Kingdom the best. Digger? Yes. Mm. It'll be one of the best mania matches of all time. Correct. Yeah. I think it'll fall somewhere in between. I think it will fall solidly between it, the yeah. two of them. You going them. Jay or Jimmy? I'm going Jimmy for the, uh, for the reasons you said, but the opposite. Oh, okay. If that makes sure. sense. Because okay. Jay's almost too far ahead of Jimmy to just continue being so. Sure. So they'll give Jimmy the win. <laughs> Jay's face, Jimmy's heel, by the way. I'll say Jimmy. Hemi. Hemi. Hemi also. 
And uh, I'm going to go three and a quarter. I'm going to put it a little higher than I think it'll be, and then I'll be disappointed. Yeah, that feels about <gasps> right. Oh, I'm going to... Disappointed! <laughs> I'm going to use my one steel and also say three and a quarter. Okay. That that's, feels that's about one steel? right. Yeah. No more steals? Everybody heard that? Scott's not allowed to steal anymore. I would never. Okay. I can't believe I did I once. I will say three. Okay. And like, I don't know how I... Feel about that match. about people <laughs> about Pacific Islanders? No, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> the just like because Jimmy and Jay like they had that really great tag match with Sammy and uh, Ko Ko. Yep. But again, like Jimmy and Jay, I've only ever seen them do one thing: super kicks. Super kicks. <laughs> yeah. Like, I they, know, and they can do more. Totally I've seen they them do, do more. splashes. But like True. what like yeah, what are they going to do? Like I mean I, the thing is though, I know they can do more. Yeah. Sure. I'm sure it'll get announced as like a street fight, maybe. Yeah. And like I've or already, like they'll, they'll I think they'll put a step on it between now and Mania. Probably. And that was like my one criticism of the tag match last year is like, you guys are like I understand do it do, like getting over just doing like the, yeah. the basic stuff and you guys don't have to change your thing because yeah. why work harder when you can work smarter kind mm. of thing all that kind of stuff but it's fucking Wrestlemania you don't want to maybe do a little be, bit yeah. more be cool. yeah, you're I, just I know, doing yeah. everything you've always do and cool it's like, stuff you know, like Sa- Sammy's doing his generico spots yeah. Owens is doing his Steen spots yeah. and the Usos are doing super kick yeah. Yeah. and then their counter is super kick yeah. and their double team move is super kick yeah. like a lot yeah. of people like to complain about the super kick not meaning anything blah blah yeah. blah that's where I find a feel it yep. when you do it that many times in a match what's the fucking point yep, yeah i agree i agree um but anyway i mean whatever it's the super catch, uh right? next up is uh let me talk to you yeah you got a uh, la night okay i was like is that an la night thing and aj styles <laughs> that's uh okay uh, here, here's the thing aj ha- has had an interesting career in wwe and we're eight, has, we're eight years in by the way and has Never had a good WrestleMania match. <laughs> AJ, this D- despite the opponents he's been yeah, given. Now, yeah. granted, one of those one of those was a tag match with a Moss, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you can't win them all. But this will be AJ's eighth WrestleMania match. Yeah. He's had a Mania match every year since 2016, except one, I think. Uh, yes. And uh, I'm going to predict the future and say, even including this year's match. His best of his eight Mania matches will still be Stephanie McMahon's brother, Shane. That's his best Mania match. So he did Edge at 38. Average. Or- yeah. Orton at 30. I'm, I'm going, this is a ranker list. I'm not going year by year. Okay. Uh, Orton at 35. Average. Uh, did it have a cool finish? Shinsuke Nakamura at 34. Disappointing! <laughs> uh... Him and Omos versus the New Day at 37. Yep. I don't even remember that. I'm uh, pretty sure I, I remember that. him and Omos winning the tag titles. I couldn't yeah. have told you. It was a- AJ the Undertaker, the, oh, yeah, the, the gimmick stuff. Yeah, which was fun for gimmick fun stuff. For it might be his second best, honestly. Chris Jericho at 32. Oh, also disappointing. disappointing. And then uh, Shane McMahon at 33. Awesome. Yeah. Great. <laughs> it was great. Great. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, Meltzer gave it four stars. Yeah, because it was fucking good. The match is 7.7. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think LA Knight is pretty basic. Like he's, he's very basic. He's technically sound. He's fine, but he's very basic. And AJ's um like like a hundred pounds heavier than yeah. like like you said, literally like you know 80, 80 pounds. Or he whatever. can't put his arms down. So I think it's going to be pretty mediocre. I can't see it being better than the Edge match, which was just okay. Yeah. Uh, I, what's, uh, what's LA's night finisher? Stone Cold Bottom or? Uh, it's the Stone Cold Bottom. Stone Cold Bottom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it's actually, he can only do it if it's a double team where he gets the guy in the stunner, but also a rock bottom <laughs> and he hits the ropes <laughs> and the other guy's laying on the ground. So he like does it in and then also does a leg drop. <laughs> uh, that sounds right. I think it, I mean, there's no reason to think that LA Knight's not winning. LA Knight's winning. AJ winning doesn't really matter. Yeah. Whereas like LA Knight at least is still their guy sort of. Yeah. LA Knight's done this magical thing where he's like walked the line and like like cracked the code where you can just completely rip off Steve Austin and The Rock while The Rock is there. Well, uh, 1998 nostalgia, Scott. That's the. And uh, and nobody gets mad at you or like calls you on it. Why would you get mad? I don't know. I, I was going to say, more power to him. He figured it out. I couldn't have done it. Uh, Kelly? Uh, AJ? LA? 
I'll probably say LA because they're so hot on him right yeah. now. So I mean, he's the new he's the new face of Slim Jims. Uh, is he? Uh, yes. yes, he is. Good for him. Uh, I'm gonna go low. I think it'll be bad. I'm gonna go two and uh, I'm going two three quarters. Half. Oh. I almost, oh, I was almost an accidental second steal, but I got it in the time. Yeah. I'm going two and a half, two and three quarters, Kelly. Five. Nice. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. You can nice. say no, I'm not saying five. Grow up, Drew. <laughs> Jesus. Come on. <sighs> I'll say a respectably whatever two. A gentleman's two. Yeah. Our master. Kyun. <laughs> I Tetsu. No lead. <laughs> uh, so next up, we got the six pack ladder match, tag team title, undisputed match. Four teams we know and two teams we think. We think we know. So the tag champions are Finn Balor and Damian Priest of the Judgment Day. They are going up against hashtag Do It Yourself, uh, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa mm-hmm. versus the awesome truth of the Miz and our truth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, versus the new day of Kofi and Xavier Woods because the other guy's never wrestling again. Aww. Uh Against New Catch Republic of we Pete think... Dunn and Tyler Bate and A Town Down Under of Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. We think. We think. Uh, this is, this batch could be fucking great. There's a it, lot of good people. It could it? be yeah. a mess. I yeah. don't know. Well, here's the thing. Our truth and the Miz kind of suck. Uh, oh, yeah. Austin Theory and Grayson Waller kind of suck. Yeah. Um, the other teams, can they, can the other three teams hold together? Four. Four teams hold yeah. together? Sure. It's four to two, good to bad. Yeah. So that's not bad. Um, I mean, the, the New Day are kind of a little bit past their prime. I guess. I, like, I, they're, they're, I think, like, I, Kofi is, all, Kofi's, like, I like Kofi, yeah. but, yeah. like, he's lost a step. I don't know about, uh, what's, uh, what's, Consequences. I don't think I've ever re- like he's barely. Ra- I feel like he's barely. It was a lot of Kofi and Big E. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, like, and then he just did the trombone. Yeah, yeah. I remember. And and I feel like he had a lot of runs where he was hurt, yeah. hurt for a long time and fucked Page. Yeah, that was pretty cool. But like, I liked him as, when he was Consequences Creed. He was fine. Yeah, fine. But yeah. like, I don't know if he's still. But again, he's also like another hundred pounds overweight. Yeah, he really, he's really big because yeah. he's jacked he's up pretty too, thick. Yeah. So I don't know if he. But that's because they, they, there was so much time where they didn't use him. Yeah. Yeah. Because when Kofi was hurt. Him and Big E barely did anything together. Yeah. And then when Big E got hurt originally, then Kofi also got hurt. Then Woods was at, was yeah. a singles wrestler. He won King of the Ring. Yeah. But then right. they didn't do anything with him. Then he got hurt. Stayed home and got jacked. Yeah, it, it was, it's a weird situation. Um, there is no better way to get in shape than to get hurt in the WWE. Yeah. I mean, 100%. if you want to get gigantic, like cartoonishly gigantic, get hurt for, get have an extended injury in WWE, and you will come back with 100 pounds of pure muscle strapped to your stupid and get, frame. And get your contract extended without your consent. Correct. Uh, yeah, I hope you don't want to leave. The Judgment Day are losing. They're I losing. just don't know who they're that losing to. That is exactly to. where I'm at. I think the very unfortunate answers... Awesome Truth? Or or oh, A-Town the, Down, down uh, Under. So one of the bad I teams. I think one of the two bad teams might... Because like our, our truth in The Miz is kind of like a fun... like. Yeah, because everybody loves our truth. Yeah, like he's so ridiculous and fun and silly. Like that's a fun one. A- or a-, a town down under. Everybody's gonna be so mad about it. He, I mean, if Vince was booking, it would be yes. them. Yeah, I, I, I it's really hard. I, I, I can I, say without a shadow of a doubt, the Judgment Day are losing the title. I agree. But which of the other five teams wins? I I would love to say they like do something with bait and done or DIY, but if I'm having to put money where my mouth is, I'm gonna say they're gonna give. I'll put tr- something where your mouth is. Mm. Uh, they're gonna give Truth his WrestleMania moment. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I'm too, going but... awesome Truth. The Miz is gonna win a title in at WrestleMania 2024. I mean, he won a title. I mean, he was the world champion three at, years ago. Yeah, exactly. He was the defending... No. Not a mania. Not a mania. But no. close to mania. Close to mania. Uh, okay. Do you have an opinion? Uh, DIY or baby faces? Awesome Truth or baby faces? New Day or baby faces? I mean... Catch Republic or baby faces? And A-Town uh, Down Under I, our heels? I want to say A-Town Down Under just because it seems like something oh, they would do. It does. But yeah, the whole like... <sighs> 
give Miz his WrestleMania mode or uh, uh, give our him, sorry our truth because he's never had one yeah. and because he had that horrible injury to like last his year leg, before leg fell out his leg fell out of his leg yeah uh, so we're all going uh, awesome we're all going yeah, awesome truth. Going all awesome nice uh, ratings oh. I want it to be four or more but it's going to be three and three quarters hmm okay Kelly uh, I'm going to keep my expectations low. Okay, that's good. I say two and three quarters. Whoa. Two and three quarters. Okay. Room like for improvement, guys. Uh, I'm going to do the opposite of Kelly. Five and a half. Because I feel like ladder matches, even when sloppy. Oh, that's are, I didn't realize. So it, it is ladder match. match. Oh, okay. Then I will change mine. You're allowed, uh, you're allowed one emergency change. What's your emergency change? I will say... Let's bump it up to three, three and a quarter. Three and okay. a quarter. Uh, I'm going to be very optimistic because I feel like even when it is ladder matches, it's kind of sloppy. It's still pretty good. It could and be. Wild. There is a lot of really good There's lots people. of good folks in it, yeah. Uh, I it could be four and a half. I would imagine that Dunn's going to do some mean stuff. Bates going to do some big, strong boy stuff. Yeah. Uh, DIY are both awesome. I yeah. mean, even though the New Day are kind of old now, they're still something. great. And Balor and Priest are great. Yep. And I'm sure The Miz and Our truth will be there. They will also be there. I'm going to go four. Okay. I'm going to put the same as the three-way U.S. title. Uh, then we got the Intercontinental title of the longest reigning IC champion ever of Gunther Stark. Sorry, just Gunther. Uh, defending. Oh, the Nazi? Defending against Sami Zayn. Oh, the Arab? The Arab. Who the am I French supposed French Canadian Arab. Who am I supposed to cheer for? Uh, oh. Uh, a third person. The Nazi. The Nazi. <laughs> Obviously. So, yeah, Gunther's held the title for. 100 years. This is his 100th year as champion. I expected you to know, Scott, because you know everything. 670. It's really hard to use the mount computer around the fucking microphone being in my these face. These big, strong paws. These big, strong paws, aren't they? But then I killed my son. Uh, <laughs> it's like, at a moment... That didn't happen in the movie. Yes, it did. Uh, at the, I, I love his mystery at, that. at the moment, he is at 657 days as of recording. So, Mania so, Day 1 would take us another nine days. So, 666, number of the Whoa, most. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. A million dollars. Who did he win it from? Ricochet. Damn it. You were on fire today. I'm, I'm, Percy Pringle. I know so many weird. Yeah. Th- actually, two have been guesses. This one I kind of knew. Okay. But, Percy uh, Pringle, Dan Castle. And yeah, those Nether, those two were guesses. And fucking yeah. Ricochet. That's Big why. day. Go uh, buy a lottery ticket right now. Drive to the U.S., get one of those Powerballs I, right now. The the Mega Millions that I bought a couple yeah. weeks ago when we were there, that was $730 million. Yeah. Is this your way of telling us you won $730 million? Guys, I won $730 million U.S. dollars. We're all getting the surgery. And, no. Oh. What are we getting? We're... Okay. We're, <laughs> <laughs> we're getting... Those super high-end fursuits like that Japanese guy with the uh, with the collie fursuit. We're getting those, but then we're also getting the surgery. And then we walk around in the suits and people are like, yeah, that's a cool suit and all, but I bet you're still a nerd under there. And then pop off that head, even better looking. <laughs> and then you go live in the woods. <laughs> that's what 730 million yeah. gets you. Anyway. So I won that and we're doing that. But uh, say I didn't. I don't think that lottery has been won yet. And oh. it's over a billion. Yeah, it's over a billion. I remember hearing that. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. We're going tonight. I think we should go. Uh, Actually. I, oh, no. because I No, I guess it's national. Um, I'll be in the United States <gasps> tomorrow through Tuesday. Get one in Vegas. So uh, I'll fucking get one. Gambling. It'd be funny if that was the only game. Tech consolidation. <laughs> If that, the only gambling I do in Vegas is buy, buy one lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> That's the move. Uh, I think Sammy is ending Gunther's reign of terror. I think so, too. I think that's the moment. Whether or not Sammy keeps that title for more than a month. More than who, a day. Who's to say, but uh, I'm going to go with Sammy. 
I, I think they'll have as many good plans for Sammy after he wins this title as, he, as they oh. did for Sammy and Owens after they won the tag titles last yeah, year. Yeah, when they lost them to Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso for like a, a week. Yeah. Like almost immediately, it felt like. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to go Sammy. Sammy. Sammy? Sammy. Sammy. Um, Four and a half. Jesus Christ, right off the fucking bat. Uh... I'm going to enact my one Scott stole it from me because I actually typed four and a half next to my answer first. So Scott is stealing my answer. It's on the record. Uh, Kelly, star rating for this. Four and three quarters. Ooh, Kelly. big boy. Kelly, Lillian, Summer. He's a big, big boy. I, well, I love both of those guys. Uh, yeah. So they better yeah. fucking do it. I agree they better do I it. I think they will. And I think as long as there isn't like Imperium shenanigans, but I would imagine that Owens will come down and fight them probably. Uh, um, could do that. I, I, yeah, who knows? That's bad. Uh, so we got the <clears throat> the Women's Boo. World Championship. Boo. Women. Uh, the, uh, Rhea, somewhere else. Rhea, Rhea Ripley defending it against... <laughs> what happened there? What are you doing? I don't know. You're Are you gonna pick up a bag of Doritos off the floor with your feet again? Um, Never gonna live that. that. But, your emphysema startled me, and I kicked over my empty d- big dumb cup. Rhea Ripley defending against the uh, women's elimination chamber winner mm. Becky Lynch. Who I think I heard only has two months left on her contract. To live? <laughs> on her contract. It, well, I mean, she'll resign. Yeah, but I've, I've heard that Endeavor's doing things differently. Okay. okay. That Endeavor's doing it like... They're sending people to their future of Endeavor. <laughs> their futures of endeavoring them. Mm. That they're letting people's contracts expire before they negotiate with them. That's odd. Because I guess it's a way of like, well, listen, like without us, you don't have a job. Except you, there's another company that will give you lots uh, of money. Yeah, but I, they can't sign everybody. I think they can. And I think there are a lot of people that are more loyal. I don't know. They're paying Mercedes Monet $75 billion a year. To get injured in her third match and then be out for a year? That would be funny. Yeah, that would be pretty funny. They're calling her Girl CM they're, Punk. They're calling her a woman's wrestler. <laughs> Fair. Um... I don't know. I mean, how long has Rhea had the fucking title for? Exactly one year. There you go. Beat Charlotte last year. Def- In a shockingly great well, match. A great match. Absolutely shocking. So good. Um, Becky's better. Here's the thing. Here are two true statements. Becky is much better than Charlotte. This match will be worse than yes. Rhea versus Charlotte. I, I don't uh, know why that is, but yeah. it is a truth. I don't Because see Rhea and Charlotte overachieved. Yes. And this one probably won't This will overachieve. regular achieve. And they're going to feel like we have to top what we did the yeah. match last and, year. And they'll so blow it, and it'll be three and a half. I, d- I don't know who wins. I really don't I, know uh, if I have an opinion. If Becky was hotter, not looks-wise, but popularity-wise, if she was at, like, peak Becky popularity, the man. if, if she was the man, the man yeah. then yeah. But Rhea's more popular than her. Yeah. I th- she uh, really is. Thank you for the for the gape picture. You're welcome. <laughs> What's Kelly doing? Getting a oh, are you a boner? Are you gonna do? Are you disarming her? Are you gonna do a German suplex and land a poor girl on her nose? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm I'm lost in the translation. A specific picture. Oh, the the fat nerd hugging Becky from behind ah, and clutching her nice, wrist as she's nice. gonna break it. She's trying to not want to strike. That's him. right. That's a good picture. <laughs> I love doing physical things on podcasts. It's the best. I mean, we do it all the time. Yeah. Can I? There he is. There he is. There's our guy. Uh, please send me that. That's the thumbnail. All right, I'll keep it up. Yeah. That's our That's guy. That's hundred percent the thumbnail. And, and th- this guy, uh, just a death grip on her own yeah. arm, is is legitimately the reason why they no longer do this at yeah. signings anymore. You're not allowed to touch them. You're anymore, not allowed right? to touch them anymore. Yeah. yeah, That's 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 too much hug, pal. Yep. No, uh, you're. It was it was this one, and there was one with. Uh, uh, there is another uh, one. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's her fucking name? Um, uh, Alex uh, Alexa Bliss. Ah. There's one with Alexa Bliss that's very similar that they were like, yeah, yeah this is the reason we're not no doing... More, no more touchy. No more touchy. No more touchy the girls. 
Yeah, I'll also send you this too, just so you but know. I also send, uh, maybe, I'll, you know maybe I'll use this as the thumbnail. Why not? Maybe I'll use this as the secret thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> um, if anybody wants to see the secret picture, just let me know and I'll send it to you. Yeah. Although you'll be able to see it on the uh, person's uh, Twitter that we told you to go to. Oh, yeah. Um, so, uh, I, I... Raya three and I, a half. I, I was going to say, I think Raya retains. Yeah, I was going to say Raya. And you said three and a half, Scott? Yep. I think you're lowballing it a little bit. I could be. Um, nope, just King. I'm gonna go. Three. <laughs> I'm gonna go three. Oh, so you're if you're like really lowballing. I like to play pranks on you. You're a prankster. You're an original prankster, like yep. uh, like that song by Novelty Band, Novelty the Band, Band, The Offspring. <laughs> <laughs> no, zero street cred. Zero. I will be optimistic. <gasps> okay. And say three and three quarters. Okay. Great. That's not bad. I mean, it's got potential to, yeah. but whether it does. I think it could be really, really good or. Or, or they might remember there are two white women <laughs> at the end of the day. fucking say? Uh, brings us- like the, the beauty of Rhea and Charlotte is that for one brief, beautiful moment, they forgot they were two white women <gasps> and had a good wrestling match. Yeah. And one of them forgot that she's the biggest bitch in the business. <laughs> well, she's a big fat bitch. <laughs> uh, brings us to the women's WWE Championship match. Not to be confused with the women's world title uh, match. Defending champion of EO Sky uh, against Royal Rumble winner Bailey, Former teammate, former friend, possibly former lover. I don't know what they're into. Former I human would being. Um, I think Bailey gets the win. I do too. Uh, yes. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. So mad we copied. I mean, I'm glad I said it first. He hates copiers. Uh, I mean, this one's got good potential as well. Um, but have they They haven't really wrestled each other, so I don't know what their chemistry will be like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also, like, I feel like Bailey hasn't, like, she went a while where she didn't really wrestle, and then when she yes. did, it was just tag matches. Yeah. Also, is her ass too big to wrestle no. anymore? No. Don't tell it to the internet. I would the internet never. loves that dump truck. It's insane. It looks it it looks AI. It does. It looks totally fake. It doesn't look like the rest of her body. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't fit in with her frame. Yeah. It's it's psychotic. But um, yeah, Bailey wins. I'm gonna go three and a half. I think that's a reasonable number because I hate women's wrestling. I think it will. Be, will it be better or worse than Rhea Charlotte? I guess is the question. Probably similar, honestly. Uh, but I'll say I'll say one quarter star less, three and a quarter. Remember, because last year it was Rhea Charlotte and Bianca Oscar, and Bianca Oscar, and Bianca Oscar was so much better on paper, paper? than yeah. Rhea Charlotte. But Rhea Charlotte ended up being the way better match, and Bianca Oscar was just. Fine. Fine. And like the crowd like the crowd's kind of dead. Dead for it. Yeah. Were they on after or before? They uh Bianca Oscar was day two, Rhea oh. Charlotte was day one. Bianca Oscar might have been after something they were that after got something. a lot of heat. Yeah. Yeah. And, like the crowd was dead for most yeah. of it. And then they kind of came alive for it near the end. Yeah. But I don't remember it being but a bad match. It wasn't bad. It was just like pretty good yeah. a pretty good match with not much heat. Yeah. And uh the other one was like awesome. Yeah. Uh, it did it follow like the thick guy, thick boy. It three went way or after the thick guy three way. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, that's exactly why that because uh. that thick boy three was fucking amazing. <laughs> Do you remember what was on after them? Was it because you just saw? Is that why you remembered? No, based on your reaction, I'm gonna say <laughs> it perhaps involved the <laughs> second WrestleMania. Shane McMahon uh, versus The Miz singles match. Yes, it was. That ended differently yeah, than the first one. Sure did. That was saved by national hero <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Dog, <laughs> who punched Miz in the face for real. 100%. Yeah. Uh, Kelly, your match rating for Bailey and Io Shirai? I was also going to say three and a quarter. Stealer. Well, you know what? Shut up. Although you guys, you know what? Me. Good points made on both sides. All right, so that brings Shut us up. to the main event of night one, okay. uh, which is the tag team match of the bloodline of Dwayne the Rock Johnson and Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes and Seth Freaking Rollins. You have to, you have to say Freaking Kelly. Yeah. Uh, if Rhodes and Rollins win, all members of the bloodline will be barred from ringside during the undisputed championship match on night two. 
if Rock and Reigns win, the championship match on night two will be held under blood bloodline rules. That means only uh, Samoans can participate, and if you're not Samoan, you have to paint yourself Samoan. <gasps> brown face. Yeah, I like brown face. Uh, I, well, that was Rikishi's old move. <laughs> <laughs> the brown face. The brown face. Poo face. Yeah, yeah, that was gay. Um, totally. Like Kelly was talking. Shut up. Kelly. I'm. Shut up! I'm so sorry. Kelly, you were saying. Well, I was going to say, I... I mean, <laughs> it'd be really funny if Cody Lott loses yes! again in the yes! main title match. I mean, if... I want. If if Cody... Dear God, I want. If Cody loses to Roman on day two, I think I will watch every second of WWE programming for the next year. Yeah. I will be... Yeah. I will be so happy yeah but it'll like, be amazing hunter never forgets you smashed that chair buddy don't smash that chair don't smash that sir i just see i can see the bloodline winning the tag match and then cody has more odds that's, and he overcomes the odds on day two and it's a that, bigger that's, story. that is that's exactly, exactly what's happening exactly what i think yeah, <laughs> yeah. and um also if you think the rock is losing a wrestlemania match <laughs> but he is going to get He's gonna, anyways. Um, yeah, I think. I mean, that's one hundred percent what happens. Yeah, it's you gotta, so you gotta stack the stack the deck. Yeah, and then also he loses in the main event on the next day. It's so weird how this match came about because, like, <laughs> the plan, the plan was Roman versus Rock. Yeah, for the title day two, like that was the plan. Yeah. And then, and then the fans were not happy. They, which they, but it's, rioted they were happy. At, they were happy at the, at the beginning. Yeah, when the Rock first came back, and they were like, "Oh my God, we're fucking getting it." Yes, and then they, they we're getting the thing that they have been trying to do for three years now. Yes, and uh, then Cody won the Rumble. That's the thing. That is the part of the plan that makes no sense to me. How do you have Cody win the Rumble if you're not? If the plan is Rock versus Roman. Don't know. What is your plan to do with Cody? My my only guess is that Punk getting hurt actually fucked the Rumble. Could have, yeah. And maybe Punk was supposed, Punk was to, supposed win. to win. supposed to win, challenge Rollins, yeah. and just do Rock. That Rollins. all said, I don't know what Cody was going to do. Don't know. If the original plans had... Oh, I, Him McIntyre? We, uh, maybe. It, uh, we, we didn't make the joke we've been making for like <gasps> two months now at the beginning of this. I can't wait to see the three big matches they've been building to at WrestleMania yeah. this year. The Rock versus Roman Reigns, CM Punk versus Seth freaking Rollins, and Gunther versus Brock Lesnar. <laughs> the big three. I'm so sorry. I like... like doesn't it feel like it's been every year for the last, like, I don't know, six years... That the stuff they try to set up at the end of the previous year, it's fucked. going into Royal Rumble, yeah. Then by the time it comes to Mania, yeah, everybody's fucking hurt. Oh yeah, yeah. But in this case, some people are hurt, and some people did did a very bad, bad thing. Some people are hurt, some people are canceled, and some people are more popular than the Rock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's very strange. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go three even because. The Rock is old and hasn't wrestled. Roman hasn't really wrestled at all. Yeah, this could go a few And, like, to be honest, Cody's kind of sloppy, and I fucking hate Seth. So I'm going to go three even. I hate everything about Seth except his wrestling. Yeah. Yes. Um, I, I'm going to say higher than three. How hmm. much higher than three? Three and a half? Three and a half is what I'm going to say. I said three and a half. Why, Write it down. Why don't you just tell me the rating? Why you don't you just it? tell me the name of the movie you want to see? Uh, uh, I will meet in the middle. Say three and a quarter. Nice, but but like caveat, yeah, I don't see The Rock doing a lot because he's not going to want to get hurt nope. and not be able to do movies. Probably not. the The last two Mania's real he, real wrestling matches yeah. he had, all of his muscles fell off his bones. Yeah. <laughs> and he was 10 years younger and than he, was, he is now. Yeah, he was 11 and 12 years yeah. younger, respectively. Yeah. Uh, so, the two main events, or title matches, are uh, the World Heavyweight Championship of uh, Seth freaking Rollins. Nice. Defending against Drew McIntyre. Yeah. Um, and... CM Punk is on commentary. Yes. And did a promo on Raw pretty much saying how much he hates McIntyre and hates Rollins. And they hate him. Yeah. Everyone hates everyone. Yeah. 
there was one really funny thing I saw where like Drew McIntyre said, you know, I'm the chosen one. And Punk was like, yeah, who chose you? What's his name? <laughs> what, what paragon of virtue chose you? And McIntyre was like, fuck. Oh, he got me. God damn it. He got me. God, he got me. Got me red handed. Yeah. Um, I, I like, I can't like, I don't, was, would that have been scripted? That's like getting pretty, that seems that's very pretty punk-ish. close to the line. Yeah. But honestly, awesome. I line. mean, like, Hunter might let him do it. Maybe. Yeah. But it was, it was pretty sick. Actually. Now here's the real, here's the real question. And Scott, and I discussed this off pod, but we don't, I don't know who wins this, but I know who leaves WrestleMania Maybe with the World Heavyweight Championship. I think I know who leaves WrestleMania without the title for sure. And I think that's Seth. Right. I so don't, you're thinking. I don't know if Drew McIntyre leaves with it or if Damian Priest uh, leaves Please with call it. my no. real name. Senor Money in the Bank. Senor Money in the Bank. Punishment Martinez. Because I think them losing the tag titles sets yes. up... Very obviously him cashing in Money in the Bank. Classic Seth losing to Randy yes. and then doing the three-way yes. thing. So I think I think Seth retain I think Seth retains and an angry Drew gives him the beat down. Blasts him. Him and it, You think he cuts him in half with a sword? Good. Uh depends how capable Phil Brooks is currently. I think he's handy capable. Uh, yes. It, like how far? Like he's only th- three and a bit months. Three months. It'll be. Two I mean, it's not much more than two. Two. Yeah. It was end of January. <sighs> Depends how much he can do. I don't know if he can do a lot because I feel like you can do a uh, a, a Drew does a beat down. Drew and Punk fight away, fight and leave. Does it feel like you're talking about yourself when you say Drew? Sometimes. And, <laughs> and you get the cash in from Priest. And the thing is, like, I feel like Priest has lost a lot of his steam, though. Yeah. So wait, because it felt like for a while he was like, uh, like one day away from turning face. He was he was getting lots of good heat, and then he did the bad the bad bony match. He did bad bony, bad bony, and and now it feels and, like he's not turning face. I, yeah, I don't know. He's just been like a straight heel again. I don't know. And he was like getting in fights with like the rest of the boys and girls. Yep. But now, like, well, they did all the they did all the R Truth stuff, which kind of made them more of a novelty. Oh yeah, than like an actual serious threat. Yeah, but uh, I, I liked it I, when they were spooky and had magic, and and when they when Edge was the leader and yeah. he was going to do magic, and then he said, "No, that's kind of gay." <laughs> yeah. And then they were like, "All right, fine, we're going to take you out. You're you're out of the group yeah. that you started and is named after like your stuff, like your yeah. gimmicky stuff." And, but but rude, also Edge rude. <laughs> <laughs> But also, we're not going to do magic, but you are still out of the group. Yeah. Uh, I, I still think... I, I think Seth retains. Good one. Huh. I think Seth retains, and I think Priest cashes in. I think... McIntyre wins. Cool. And go. Uh, I think McIntyre gets to win a world title in front of people. I mean, that's true, but he's a, kind of a heel. He's absolutely a heel. And but he's like, he's like, was to give him the big face pop. Yeah, no, but, but also, is his contract's almost up too, right? Yes, and it's unclear if he's well. If if he wins the title, I think we'll know he's resigned. Sure. Oh, how how funny would it be? Oh. If Cody won the title and then Priest cashed in and beat him. I mean, I mean that's that would be pretty hilarious. That would be the funniest thing of all time. Yeah. yeah. They're not going to do it. But yeah, yeah. It's yeah. unlikely, but it would be amazing. I mean, no. What's, he, what's even funnier? Cody loses. Priest cashes in on Roman. That, that, <laughs> that, that, that or, or that, or we literally get the Brock Roman Seth. Do the three Where he, he cashes in and then Roman beats Priest. Oh! Love that. And Cody's not even involved in that. And Cody's like, what? (laughs) That's fucking great. Oh, that's awesome. Again, won't happen. But Will not happen. Very funny. But uh, yeah, I'm going Seth. Scott's going Drew. Kelly? Uh, I think I also say Seth with the Martinez. uh, Cashin? Cashin. Punishment Martinez. So you think world champion. You think Priest leaves with the title? I can see it. Yeah. I can see it. Is that what you got, or you don't think? That's the problem, is McIntyre is a heel. And Priest cashing in on the heel either either turns Drew back into a face, or you've got to keep doing a Seth-Drew thing. I have decided what's happening. Everyone, ha-ha, 
<laughs> Listen to me. You think Armando Estra- uh, Armando Alejandro Estrada? Yes, no. I think he's getting involved. Um, I think there's probably some uh, some kind of shit that goes down with Punk. McIntyre ends up winning. Priest comes out to cash in. Uh. Judgment Day, acc- the rest of Judgment Day, accidentally or on purpose fucks him. He is unsuccessful in the cash in. And That's the face turn. I can see that. It is It is yeah. decided. I can see that. So you think Drew leaves with the title. I think Drew leaves with the title. Kelly and I both think that... Uh, I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want to call him Punch Mom Ortiz. Uh, <laughs> Damian Priest leaves with the title. How about Punisher Dice Morgan? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, match rating can be good. I mean, I think they're both very good. They are both very good. Um, I'm going to go... What's my highest match so far? Sammy and Gunther. Are you giving your it your lowest rating ever? Seven thumbs up? Yes. Okay. Six bags of popcorn, <laughs> two sodas. Pretty good. Um, I think it'll be worse than Gunther Sammy. Yes. Which I gave four and a half to. So I'm going to go four and a quarter. I'm going four even. I was also going to go four even. Couch. Could be four and a quarter. Do it now. Here he said I heard. <laughs> <laughs> So the main event then would be the Bloodline Rules match yeah. between Co- uh, for the uh, Universal the Blue Universal title. Yeah. Uh Roman Reigns versus Brownface Cody. Cody Rhodes. Yeah. Uh do we actually know what Bloodline Rules is? Street fight inter- interference is allowed. Okay, yeah. Um now, the speculation on the internet Freebird rules. would be nice. that Cody and The Rock have been working together the whole time. Which I was on board with until Monday when yes. Rock beat the absolute yes. fucking shit out of Cody yes. and he bled everything. So I don't know if that was maybe in the works. Um, one thing I have heard is that Hunter is a lot more lean. Like he he's a lot more of the fans have figured it out. We're not fucking doing it ah. than... Like, I mean, Vince was kind of like that, but also that, he was very much set in his ways. Yeah, that's a bad thing to be, though. That's a Vince Russo thing is like, ah, the internet figured it out. We have to do a swerve that doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, true. Because, like, what what was the thing? Do the logical booking. Who cares if people What was the thing that The Rock whispered to Cody at the beginning of this whole thing if he's then going to beat the shit out of him? I'm gay. Rosebud. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, like the, like it made perfect sense until Monday because yeah. like yeah, if if Rock's little lost in translation whisper to Cody was let's fuck Roman. Yeah, ma- everything makes perfect I mean, sense um, up to Monday. Unless you just let the Rock hard just, way, they uh, just agreed to make to, to throw Roman they agreed off the to scent, a, a, a kayfabe right. real beating. Yeah, I mean, I think at the end of this, yes, the Rock has had a fun time as a heel. I think Rock wants to be a baby face. I think we're going to do face Rock versus heel Roman. Yeah. I don't know if it's SummerSlam or next year's Mania. I mean, next year's Mania. Rock's going to be like, I don't know, 62. Probably. Um, how old is Dwayne right now? 50? 90? 51. You're not on a first name basis with him. <laughs> Refer to him as Rock or Mr. Johnson. He, Sorry. Call, he, how, call, he calls him DJ. How old is DJ? <laughs> uh, he's 51, turns 52 in May. Okay. So he will be 52 next year, about to turn 53. He's younger than R-Truth, and he's one of the tag titles of this show. <laughs> that is true, but R-Truth has not aged a day. No. no. Absolutely not. And, is still and, like and also, yeah. does is R-Truth's daughter the general manager of NXT? Mm, true. Right? Yeah, is R-Truth's grandmother going into the Hall of Fame? Exactly. All good points, guys. Get All good points. fucked. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i don't know there's a lot going on here a lot of moving pieces there are um i guess there is a possibility that cody just wins clean like you know i mean wins good i mean like that there isn't like a fucking of roman yeah no cody vanquishes the interference or has help i mean no, i'm sure he'll have help. and just beats roman if roman pins Cody clean and then Wrestlemania ends <laughs> it will be the best day of my life you have no idea how many times because like man, like think of what a good time we had last year yeah 
Imagine again. <laughs> like, I, you have no idea how many times I've wanted, like, a finish like that to happen and just see the crowd riot. Yes. I have been wanting that for yes. years. Ever since when Daniel, they thought Danielson wasn't going to win the title at Mania and they were going to fucking, like, storm Ooh. the ring. Yeah. Man, if they, yeah, if they had had just, like, Batista yeah. pin Brian at, at Mania 30 10 years ago this day, uh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Just a full full scale riot, pretty crazy. Yeah, I would love it. I want I want Roman to be. He won't. He's, he can't. I mean, we said it last year. We said, of course, Cody's winning. Yeah, and, and here we are a year yeah. later. But it, it, it I, look, it can't happen twice. But God damn it, I would love to be right. I just don't think you can go an entire an entire. I I looked to my left for the first time in a while, and I saw a full screen cow gape. <laughs> oh, Jesus that is that is quite the glazed donut you got there, Drew. I don't know if you can go another year <laughs> with Roman as world champion who no. doesn't wrestle. Unless they're like dead set on this record shit and he's gonna hold it like five more years and beat <sighs> Bruno San Martino. I don't think you can do that either. Um there is a series of these. By the way. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a it's a collection. It's a collection. Um, yeah, I really don't <laughs> know if you can go another even even another like because another he's, he's not beating the he's not beating the Bruno record because no. you can't do that anymore. You can't at a certain point Roman wrestling two or three times a year. Uh, yeah, for eight years. Going going into his mid forties, yeah, is not the same thing as Bruno wrestling. You know, every every other night for eight years straight, yeah. defending the title, and like that's not the way that wrestling works anymore. No, so I th- I think Cody ha- like he but has, we, to. but we said that last I, year. I know we said last year, but he has to. I th- yeah, I guess. he fucking has to. Yeah, yeah. If I had to bet. Unless, if I'm betting with my head, it's Cody. With my heart, it's Roman. <laughs> Me too. No, yeah. It's Roman over Damien P- Priest in a failed cash-in. That's so That's funny. That's what your heart is going for. That the, yeah. uh, My heart would soar, Drew. Kelly, are you going Cody as well? Or are you going Roman? Uh, Please go Roman. <laughs> I really want to go Roman, but I'll say Cody. Yeah, okay. Uh, now, uh, r- rating for this. Because well, uh, last year, what was last year? What was last? Year's? I gave, I gave last. You said year's, it would have been five. It would have been five if Cody won because it was such a good professional wrestling match. Yeah, like it had everything you needed for it. Yeah. it was paced well. Nobody did too much shit. Like the stuff that was kicked out of was a surprise because they didn't like. Uh, they like, kind of everything kind of meant something. Yeah, and like yeah, it was a very good. Like it was like one of the. F- First times I've seen like a great professional wrestling it, match in the WWE. It is a four and a half for Meltzer and a seven point five eight on Cage Match. Four and a half. Hmm. I th- yeah, I don't know. I think I I can't remember what I gave it. It's probably low at the time, but I f- I think he might have gone from five to four, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. I I don't know if I was that invested in it at the beginning. Because I hated Cody. Oh, like, like your your my, my prediction. Your right. prediction, I don't know. Yeah, your prediction was probably like three, three and a quarter or something. Yeah. yeah, but but after the fact, you're you're like it could have been five, was four or yeah. or something like that. Yeah. So last year, Roman wrestled one two. There were two three. five star matches on last year's Mania. Rom- Roman That's wrestled wild. three matches leading up to Mania. Yeah. This year he wrestled one. Solid. So I think the match will be worse because Roman has done less Nothing. wrestling this year. Oh, uh, sorry, leading up to because twenty twenty three he did two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. He did eleven matches in twenty twenty three. Yeah, but only and the before before Mania he did three. Yeah, and this year one. And this year so he's had one. one match in twenty twenty four. Yes, Jesus J- Christ! It was at Royal oh, the four way four way the four way at the Rumble. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I think it'll be a worse match because he's wrestled less. So uh-huh. I I'm going to lowball it okay. because it's probably gonna be bad. It could, or it could be five fucking Two? stars. Oh boy! And wow. no, 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 I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm gonna go three and three quarters. 
I was in that range. Oh, too. are you going to enact your one seal? I think I'm going to use. Well, I mean, we've gone the whole podcast. You haven't done it once. I haven't so. done it once, so I'm going to enact my one steal and say three and three quarters. Okay. Five. I'm going to say no. You know like, they can do five. Well, like, you know it, Kelly. I don't think it's they're five do if we get the ending we want. Yeah. <laughs> and like. It's kind of weird because I like I dislike Cody so much as yeah. a wrestler. I, I I don't like either guy. Yeah, I don't like other guy either. Yeah, either guy and like um, but like I will say. Wait, sorry, what'd you get? Uh, it's we a secret. both give it three, uh, and three and three quarters. quarters. Three and three quarters. I'll give it three and a half. Okay. Probably higher than your prediction last year. Probably, but I don't know. And yeah. there's no, and there's the problem is there's no way Just of finding out. out. Yeah. <laughs> so. All, all, really of, big shoe. all of us have Gunther Sammy as the best match. Yes. Yeah. Uh, four and a half for Scott and I and four and three quarters for Kelly. Yeah. And the combined worst match is what we assume to be Blacks versus Biggins. <laughs> Which may or may not even, even be happen. Who worth knows? being Who on knows? Mania. Yeah. Could just be in the middle of the show on SmackDown next week. Is the second worst match AJ versus LA Knight? It is. Huh, oh my interesting. God. AJ guess... LA Knight is our predicted second worst matchup. It could be. It's like it's not going to be real good. AJ's gigantic and LA's basic. Motherfucker can't even do a spiral tap anymore. Uh, that is correct. He's, he's too big. <laughs> uh, well. That was it. That's that's the extent of our WrestleMania preview. Hey, look, we did it under two hours. Scott, good good job. You good you deserve. Us. You know what you deserve? A trophy to stop this recording, put it on your flash drive, and get the fuck out of my house. Kelly, you can stay as long as you want. <gasps> Except for you're the one that wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> but you can you stay. You can stay. You can forsake work tomorrow. Uh, thank, <laughs> thanks for putting up with the wrestling talk. I mean, it wasn't as much wrestling talk as in the past. Yeah. Because we did talk a lot about cow vaginas. Yeah, that was um, definitely on the table. Tune and in. The, yeah. the audio is probably not as good as usual, but I think it's pretty decent it considering we have to us. three guys on two mics. Yeah. Sounded good to us. And so, good for us. Whoever does listening to, like, the who actually does watch wrestling and listens to this, like, mm-hmm. There's like three or four people. There's, there's <laughs> only a couple of people. Like I feel like because like sometimes when we talk about this and we like really low ball like yeah. some ratings and stuff, especially me, uh, you have to understand that like I'm gay. Well, <laughs> uh, I'm a pedophile. <laughs> no, I'm a gay pedophile. <laughs> the <laughs> um, you have no idea how many fucking years oh. this fucking company has fucked us ah. and like that's true so we our expectations can be very low yeah at times. we we have been hurt a lot of time we are battered women yeah <laughs> like we, we go to a shelter yeah we go to the battered women's shelter a, a, a weirdly antiquated term and i i've actually been working at the fucked children's center lately <laughs> yeah 2000 to 2002 great years Everything after that was a fucking nosedive, so, pretty much. Somebody asked me somewhat recently if I could change it and go back to, like, not be into wrestling. Because, like, like, I had said, like, I, I wish I didn't spend so many, so much of my, as much of my time yeah. dedicated to, like, WWE, like, like you know, in the, mm-hmm. the aughts, right? Yeah, the mid-2000s. Mid-2000s, early 10s, like, when I was yeah. still kind of watching it. And they're like, if you go back, would you, like, change Because I'm like... You know, there's times where it's like, yeah, well, my Sunday was dedicated to watching a pay-per-view. Yeah. Or whatever, right? It's like, would you change it to go back? I'm like, eh, n- I, maybe I should have stopped watching it earlier. Um, uh-huh. But, like, all of the early stuff was worth it. But now, everything it just sometimes feels like a fucking chore. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you got to go out of your way to watch Royal Rumble, although I didn't this year. You yeah. got to go out of your way to watch WrestleMania. Like Two days of it. Two days of WrestleMania, right? Like, it just seems like such a pain in the ass for something I don't genuinely love anymore. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like... Uh, g- give me Japan stuff, sure. Yeah. Give me some AEW stuff, sure. Give but me like, 2024 New Japan, the best New Japan the it's best ever been. Year where where you can have such uh, high lo- profile matches that earn themselves a 4.45 cage match rating. We're talking Great Okan versus Tonga Loa. We're talking Chase Owens and Kenta defending the tag titles. We're talking a third example. <laughs> Master Any- Watto. He's hurt. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's the end. <laughs>